Welcome to my channel to learn English. Learn English with Hajar Salim. Dialogue number three. Dialogue between Mark and Sarah. About summer vacation. Hey, Sarah. How was your summer vacation? Hey, Sarah. How was your summer vacation? Oh, it was amazing, Mark. I had the best time ever. How about you? Oh, it was amazing, Mark. I had the best time ever. How about you? Mine was pretty awesome too. So, where did you go? Mine was pretty awesome too. So, where did you go? I went to Hawaii. The beaches were breathtaking. I spent my days soaking up the sun and swimming in the crystal clear waters. It was pure bliss. I went to Hawaii. The beaches were breathtaking. I spent my days soaking up the sun and swimming in the crystal clear waters. It was pure bliss. Wow, that sounds incredible. I wish I could have been there. I went to Italy. The food, the culture, everything was so vibrant and rich. I fell in love with the beautiful architecture and art. Wow, that sounds incredible. I wish I could have been there. I went to Italy. The food, the culture, everything was so vibrant and rich. I fell in love with the beautiful architecture and art. Italy, that's amazing. I've always wanted to visit. Tell me more about your trip. Italy, that's amazing. I've always wanted to visit. Tell me more about your trip. Well, I explored Rome and Florence. The Colosseum and the Vatican were jaw-dropping, and the gelato, Sarah, it was like heaven in a cone. Well, I explored Rome and Florence. The Colosseum and the Vatican were jaw-dropping, and the gelato, Sarah, it was like heaven in a cone. I'm so jealous. I'll definitely have to plan a trip to Italy sometime. Did you do any other exciting activities? I'm so jealous. I'll definitely have to plan a trip to Italy sometime. Did you do any other exciting activities? Yes, I went hiking in the Italian countryside. The landscapes were breathtaking. The rolling hills and vineyards were straight out of a postcard. Yes, I went hiking in the Italian countryside. The landscapes were breathtaking. The rolling hills and vineyards were straight out of a postcard. That sounds so picturesque. Hawaii had some incredible hiking trails too. I hiked up a volcano and watched the sunrise from the summit. It was surreal. That sounds so picturesque. Hawaii had some incredible hiking trails too. I hiked up a volcano and watched the sunrise from the summit. It was surreal. Wow, I can only imagine how beautiful that must have been. Did you try any local Hawaiian cuisine? Wow, I can only imagine how beautiful that must have been. Did you try any local Hawaiian cuisine? Absolutely. I couldn't resist trying the traditional luau feast. The roasted pig, poi, and fresh tropical fruits were delicious. And the coconut shrimp, mouth-watering. Absolutely. I couldn't resist trying the traditional luau feast. The roasted pig, poi, and fresh tropical fruits were delicious. And the coconut shrimp, mouth-watering. Yum! I indulged in some authentic Italian pasta and pizza. The flavors were out of this world. I'm still craving those thin crust pizzas. Yum! I indulged in some authentic Italian pasta and pizza. The flavors were out of this world. I'm still craving those thin crust pizzas. You're making me hungry. Speaking of food, did you have any memorable dining experiences? You're making me hungry. Speaking of food, did you have any memorable dining experiences? Yes, in Florence, I had dinner at a quaint little trattoria. The atmosphere was cozy, and the pasta carbonara was the best I've ever tasted. Yes, in Florence. I had dinner at a quaint little trattoria. 
The atmosphere was cozy, and the pasta carbonara was the best I've ever tasted. That sounds delightful. In Hawaii, I had a dinner cruise along the coast where we enjoyed a scrumptious seafood buffet while watching the sunset. It was so romantic. That sounds delightful. In Hawaii, I had a dinner cruise along the coast where we enjoyed a scrumptious seafood buffet while watching the sunset. It was so romantic. A dinner cruise with a sunset view. That sounds incredibly romantic. Indeed. Did you do any water activities in Hawaii? A dinner cruise with a sunset view. That sounds incredibly romantic. Indeed. Did you do any water activities in Hawaii? Absolutely. I tried surfing for the first time. It was challenging, but so much fun. I managed to catch a few waves, and the feeling of riding them was exhilarating. Absolutely. I tried surfing for the first time. It was challenging, but so much fun. I managed to catch a few waves, and the feeling of riding them was exhilarating. Wow! That must have been an adrenaline rush. I went snorkeling in the Mediterranean Sea. The underwater world was mesmerizing. I saw colorful fish and even a sea turtle. Wow! That must have been an adrenaline rush. I went snorkeling in the Mediterranean Sea. The underwater world was mesmerizing. I saw colorful fish and even a sea turtle. Snorkeling sounds incredible. I love exploring marine life. Did you bring back any souvenirs from your trip? Snorkeling sounds incredible. I love exploring marine life. Did you bring back any souvenirs from your trip? Yes. I bought a hand painted ceramic plate from a local artisan. It's now displayed in my living room. Reminding me of the beautiful streets of Florence. Yes. I bought a hand painted ceramic plate from a local artisan. It's now displayed in my living room. Reminding me of the beautiful streets of Florence. That's a lovely souvenir. I brought back a traditional Hawaiian ukulele. I'm learning to play it, and whenever I strum the strings, it takes me back to the relaxing beaches. That's a lovely souvenir. I brought back a traditional Hawaiian ukulele. I'm learning to play it, and whenever I strum the strings, it takes me back to the relaxing beaches. That's fantastic. I love to hear you play someday. Did you meet any interesting people during your vacation? That's fantastic. I love to hear you play someday. Did you meet any interesting people during your vacation? Definitely. I met a group of fellow travelers from different parts of the world. We shared stories and experiences, and it was fascinating to learn about their cultures. Definitely. I met a group of fellow travelers from different parts of the world. We shared stories and experiences, and it was fascinating to learn about their cultures. Meeting people from different cultures is always enriching. In Italy, I made friends with a local family who showed me around their neighborhood. It made my trip even more special. Meeting people from different cultures is always enriching. In Italy, I made friends with a local family who showed me around their neighborhood. It made my trip even more special. It's those personal connections that make traveling so memorable. Did you have any challenges during your vacation? It's those personal connections that make traveling so memorable. Did you have any challenges during your vacation? Well, there was a language barrier at times, especially when ordering food. But the locals were patient and helpful. It added a bit of adventure to the experience. Well, there was a language barrier at times, especially when ordering food. But the locals were patient and helpful. It added a bit of adventure to the experience. I can relate. The Hawaiian language has some unique words, and I struggled with pronunciation. But like you, the locals were kind and understanding. I can relate. The Hawaiian language has some unique words, and I struggled with pronunciation. But like you, the locals were kind and understanding. Overcoming language barriers is part of the travel experience, right? Did you have any pinch me? I'm dreaming moments. 
Overcoming language barriers is part of the travel experience. Right. Did you have any pinch me? I'm dreaming moments. Absolutely. One evening, I was stargazing on the beach, and a shooting star streaked across the sky. It felt like a magical moment, just like in the movies. Absolutely. One evening, I was stargazing on the beach, and a shooting star streaked across the sky. It felt like a magical moment, just like in the movies. That sounds truly magical. In Rome, I stood in the Sistine Chapel, staring up at Michelangelo's masterpiece. It was a humbling and awe-inspiring moment. That sounds truly magical. In Rome, I stood in the Sistine Chapel, staring up at Michelangelo's masterpiece. It was a humbling and awe-inspiring moment. Wow, that's something I can only imagine. Did you take any photos to capture these memories? Wow, that's something I can only imagine. Did you take any photos to capture these memories? Of course. I filled my camera roll with hundreds of pictures. Each one holds a precious memory. How about you? Of course. I filled my camera roll with hundreds of pictures. Each one holds a precious memory. How about you? I took so many photos too, from stunning sunsets to beautiful landscapes. My phone's memory is overflowing. I love looking back at them and reliving those moments. I took so many photos too, from stunning sunsets to beautiful landscapes. My phone's memory is overflowing. I love looking back at them and reliving those moments. Photos have a way of transporting us back to those special times. Now that we're back. How are you adjusting to the post-vacation routine? Photos have a way of transporting us back to those special times. Now that we're back, how are you adjusting to the post-vacation routine? It's a bit tough, to be honest. Going from carefree beach days to work and responsibilities is quite the adjustment. But I'm cherishing the memories and planning for the next adventure. It's a bit tough, to be honest. Going from carefree beach days to work and responsibilities is quite the adjustment, but I'm cherishing the memories and planning for the next adventure. I feel you. It's always a bittersweet feeling when a vacation comes to an end, but the anticipation of future travels keeps the wanderlust alive. I feel you. It's always a bittersweet feeling when a vacation comes to an end, but the anticipation of future travels keeps the wanderlust alive. Absolutely. So, where to next, Mark? Any travel plans in the near future? Absolutely. So, where to next, Mark? Any travel plans in the near future? I'm thinking of exploring the wonders of Southeast Asia. Vietnam, Cambodia, and Thailand are on my list. How about you, Sarah? I'm thinking of exploring the wonders of Southeast Asia. Vietnam. Cambodia and Thailand are on my list. How about you, Sarah? I'm considering a trip to South America, Machu Picchu in Peru, and the vibrant streets of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil are calling my name. I'm considering a trip to South America, Machu Picchu in Peru, and the vibrant streets of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil are calling my name. Those sound like incredible destinations. Let's make sure we keep each other updated on our travel plans. Who knows? We might even meet up along the way. Those sound like incredible destinations. Let's make sure we keep each other updated on our travel plans. Who knows? We might even meet up along the way. That would be amazing. Traveling with a friend makes the journey even more memorable. Let's stay connected and keep the wanderlust alive. Mark. That would be amazing. Traveling with a friend makes the journey even more memorable. Let's stay connected and keep the wanderlust alive. Mark. Absolutely. Sarah. Here's to many more adventures and unforgettable summer vacations. Cheers. Absolutely. Sarah. Here's to many more adventures and unforgettable summer vacations. Cheers. Cheers to that. Mark.
May our passports be filled with stamps and our hearts with beautiful memories. Let's embrace the world together. Cheers to that. Mark. May our passports be filled with stamps and our hearts with beautiful memories. Let's embrace the world together. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and like.